welcome to episode 95, part 2 of Africa's premier sports video podcast, the Three Quarters Podcast. As usual, remember to jump onto the hashtag Road to Japan to support the Kenya Symbols as they're still looking to qualify for the Rugby World Cup in 2019 in Japan. I'm Denima Duffield. And I'm Naraka Muya. So, bad man of the week uh-huh. from our feature game, KCB versus Impala. Uh-huh. This one, this one was tricky. <laughs> for me, for me, this yeah. one was tricky uh-huh. because I feel... For most of you know the game, mm-hmm. I didn't have a standout player. Yeah. yeah, I just felt people played well. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah, but um, one person I noticed on the Impala side uh, was Paul Mutsani. Yes, and on the KCB side, I noticed even though he got a pretty good knock at yes. some point. To be honest, I noticed Jacob Oji. As yeah. in, uh-huh. you 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 could he came back and you felt okay. Yeah, yeah. They were missing someone uh-huh. on uh-huh. the wing. Uh-huh. So because of that, yeah. like when you come back and we notice you are back. You're back. Yeah. I think you know it was also him stamping his authority. Like yes, I'm, I'm, I'm back. back. I'm yeah. back. So yeah. my man of the match would be Jacob Oji. Uh, I actually feel that Jacob Oji also did have a good game, mm-hmm. and it goes to what you're saying that. Um, you actually did feel the impact when mm-hmm. you go back onto the onto the on, onto the team sheet yeah. on the day. Yeah. <coughs> a couple of good runs, um, and, and and I always like Jacob Oje's fielding. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he feels the ball very well as a back three. Mm-hmm. But I feel that this is a game that was dominated mostly by forward play, mm-hmm. and as a result of that, I do agree with what they decided on the day. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I think Francis Muta had a very good game yeah. uh, at second row and. Uh, as, as a result of that, I I do agree. In short, uh, <laughs> with <laughs> with the man of the match on the day, on the day, yes. yes. So my bad man of the week is um, Francis Mita. All right, yeah. so very well done to both of them. Yeah. Uh, now we move on to the Varsity League mm-hmm. final. Mm-hmm. Interesting because Machine had another final, yeah. which they won. Which they won. But. Yes, so they won this one first, you <laughs> yeah. know. I'm, I'm trying to think if it was the same players. You know, you know when you're in uni, you guys just, you, you decide to pull some things. Yeah. You know, like what's in Yajin? Yeah. <laughs> two games, two games, eh? Road you, you know? But yeah, so there was a varsity league final. Uh-huh. Mean Machine versus Black Blood mm-hmm. and Mean Machine winning that 15-12 again coming down to a kick. Yep. So this kicking, this kicking. <laughs> hmm? It's important. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's when, it, it's when it's knockout rugby. Yep. It boils down to these small things. Yep. Uh, just, the, you know, the con- Conversion mm-hmm. and the penalty, mm-hmm. and that's what happened on the day. Trevor has seen a knocking, you know, a last-minute penalty. Yep. Uh, to it was 12, 12 or seventy-eight minutes. Yes. Knocking a, a, a penalty in the last minutes, and 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 mean machine ended up winning fifteen, it. twelve. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, clearly, it was a day of good finals. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm yeah. sure. Yeah. Very close. Uh, very close. Yeah. Because I'm sure <laughs> where the people who were there watching the varsity league must have been as entertained as we were watching the flood that yep. uh, tournament final. Definitely. So congratulations to Min Machine. Yep, congratulations mm. to them. Yeah. Uh, then we move on to the Simba squad, mm-hmm. Kenya Simba squad for the rapid charge. Yeah. So yeah, final squad is out. Yeah. A few names missing. Yeah. Shockers here and there. Uh-huh. Some are not shockers. Yeah. yeah. Um, I will not say why. You know, rumors why some other people were left off the team. Yeah. But um, for forwards, mm-hmm. uh, you've got your. Uh, you've got your. Yeah. We have Ephraim uh, Odwar. Yeah. We have Coleman Were, mm-hmm. Philip Ikambili. Uh, we've got Patrick Ouko, mm-hmm. Moses Amusala, Joseph Odero, uh, Hillary. Hey, these names. Mwanjila. Mwanjila, yes. Yes, uh-huh. Mwanjila. Uh-huh. <laughs> then uh, we also have Oliver Mangani, uh-huh. Wilson Kapondo is back, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Malcolm Monsanto, Simon Munyafu. Uh, still on forwards, we've got Andrew Monday, mm-hmm. Davis Chenge, mm-hmm. Martin Owila, George Nyambua, Dalma Stutui, and El- Elkins Musonye. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh, and Joshua Chisanga, of course. Yes. Uh, then we move uh, to our halfbacks, uh-huh. uh, where we have Sans- Samson on Somu uh-huh. and Mohamed Omolo. Good yeah. to see him back, you know, yeah. because it was it was always between him and Xavier, him yeah. and Xavier. Yeah. 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 Um, then uh, we've also got uh, Samuel Lea, Chudan Mukidza, Collins and Jera. Uh, rest of the backs: Leo Sajer, Peter Kilonzo, uh, Nelson Oyo, mm-hmm. Felix Ayange, William Mbaka, Tony Onyango, and William Reeve. Yes. Uh, one. Any shockers for you? Oh, Before yeah. you say that, <laughs> my my one shocker is yeah. just you know Jacob Oji missing on that squ- in that squad. Yeah. I feel like he is one of the few consistent players we have had mm-hmm. throughout. Yeah. Um, in the sense that he well he he got injured. Yes. He got back. Yeah. He trained. Mm-hmm. And he's scoring tries. Yes. So I'm, I'm not sure, you yeah, know, yeah. like, uh, you know, on attack, he's 
a really good player to like to play and play yeah. with him yeah. on attack because yeah. for me he's he's the type of person who I feel is safe mm -hmm. safe in the sense that um, to be honest uh, I feel like ball retention is very important yeah um, and if you have a winger who's just you know throwing hallelujah passes here uh -huh. and there uh -huh. that's not gonna work yeah um, he's stronger than he looks yes. so when he takes a ball in for me it's it's one of those where he'll take it in and he'll make sure he'll keep it until you guys come. Uh -huh. so that was a shocker for me yeah uh, of course we have Peter Carrier missing out he's been there for the longest time uh -huh. That is the one I will not say why. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yes. So I, I'm sure he'll be missed, but I I feel like uh, replacements will they'll be fine. Uh, we, uh, just those two. It yeah. doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense at all. Uh, Peter Carrier has had, in my opinion, the best throws mm -hmm. in the last two years mm -hmm. from a hooker's position. Mm -hmm. uh, and even if you're going to drop him, we Coleman were fine. He might be fitter. He might be you know he might run more than. Peter Carrier does, mm -hmm. but we've seen problems with these lineouts throughout the Gold Cup. These lineouts were a big problem, mm -hmm. and, and and that's you know that's one of your KPIs as a hooker, right? Peter Carrier comes in, he fixes the lineouts. So mm -hmm. that's the first one. I was shocked. I'm like, that doesn't make sense yeah. at all, yeah. right? Second one, of course, just like you said, Jacob Boje. Mm -hmm. uh, I get the feeling that he's been dropped for Nelson Oyo. Mm -hmm. uh, doesn't make sense to me at all. Uh, yes, I wouldn't pick Oyo over OJ, OJ in a at 11th game. Especially. Exactly, yes, in, in a 15th, 15th game. Yes. Oyo might have, he can explore this, the spaces very well in mm -hmm. sevens, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's the case in 15th. Mm -hmm. And Jacob Oje has been in the 15th set for a minute. And look, we keep on saying 15th is about technical. Mm -hmm. It's not about pace, it's not about power, it's about who understands the game. Is he a rugby IQ? Mm -hmm. It's fielding and all that. So I feel um, those two are a big mistake, yeah. um, but look, we are not the coaches. Yep. Uh, they are the coaches, and yep. they decided what they wanted to decide. So we can't make comments about that. We can make comments, yeah. we can give our opinions. Yes. <laughs> all we can say is that we wish, you know, the Simba's all the best yep. as, they, as they head to Marseille. Yep. Like whoever's been selected, yeah. You know, go represent us well. We're yeah. still behind you. Yep. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we move on to international rugby. Uh -huh. uh, we had Bledisloe in Tokyo. Yep. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> Australia versus New Zealand, uh -huh. and that you know, at some point. You're thinking, hey, this is a good game, this is a good game. Uh -huh. And then no. Yeah. Then then New Zealand decided, no, nah, no, nah, nah, <laughs> now, now we need to play. Yeah. Now we need to play. Yeah. So yeah, I mean I feel like the yellow card that Australia got kind of messed up uh -huh. the game. Uh -huh. You know, but but yeah, New Zealand still stamping the authority. Yeah, I mean New Zealand. Uh, I, I, I get the feeling. You see, um, over the years, uh Bled is low three. Mm -hmm. That's the third game, the mm -hmm. Bled is low cup, which Cup. is between Australia and New Zealand, for yep. those guys who don't know, has always played, has always been played in Asia, mm -hmm. and it's just to promote the game in, in Asia, mm -hmm. and it's picked up very well in mm -hmm. Asia. Uh, I know in, in the earlier year, maybe in the last 10 years, it used to be played in Hong Kong mm -hmm. a lot, mm -hmm. and you've seen the game pick up, and yeah. now they've moved it to um, Japan, Tokyo. Yeah. So I think it's also uh, a precursor to the Rugby World Cup next year, mm -hmm. and just testing the atmosphere uh, mm -hmm. uh, that's going to be in Japan. But yay. That was a very good game. Uh, the All Blacks showing that uh, again uh, they're looking like the champions are there. Yeah, and fancy passes, uh, yeah, you fancy know, through your legs, through everything. Your legs, yeah. yeah. I'm like, that's just showing off now. <laughs> like, hey. <laughs> you know? Yeah, I mean, Sonny Bill Williams earning his 50th test. Uh -huh. uh, and it's always shocking when you hear Sonny Bill Williams earning his 50th test. Somebody who's been in the setup since 2010. Mm -hmm. Then you remember, oh, he switches codes. And after a World Cup, he goes to play sevens, he goes mm -hmm. to box, mm -hmm. you know. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, I mean, congratulations to him for getting his 50th test. But like you're saying, the All Blacks is showing that uh, what kind of a juggernaut they are, mm -hmm. and um, uh, pro pro producing a very classy performance in Tokyo. And uh, unfortunately for the Wallabies, they just didn't have enough firepower to measure up to the All Blacks. Yep, no, yeah. they didn't. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the deserved result for the All Blacks. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Uh, so that's it for um, part two. Mm -hmm. uh, but guys, one, I'd like to know what guys think about that Simba's quad. Yes. Uh, what they think are the shockers. If they're not shockers, also tell us. Tell us, You know, yeah. just tell us, no, this is what we think. Yeah. And it's a justified, okay, well, everything is justified. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. Uh, also, who watched that? Who watched that game? Yeah. I mean, in Australia versus New Zealand, tell us. Yeah. Anyway, find us on social media. Uh, you can do that by following us on Instagram, liking our page on Facebook, and subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'm Dimi Madofio. And I'm Nara Kamuya. See you in part three.